Welcome back, ladies and gents, to the final part of my Resident Evil Village walkthrough. Welcome back. Here we are. The final final. Let's do this, Chris. Hey, Chris, I'm expecting you to freaking run faster than this, my man. You punch a damn boulder. Like, come on now. You ain't Ethan. Pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone, watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Yeah, let's do it. Achievement. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we thought. Whatever's got nothing on us. Yo, let's go, doggy dog. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger that. You dead, my man? I still got a lot of questions about Chris and his involvement in all of this, but I'll get to that later when I do my TLDR review. SAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. Wait, they're killing BSAA agents now? Chris, you were one of them. Jesus Christ, Chris is taking them out like nobody's bloody business. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here, leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. I read really the quote of his peers from Resident Evil 6, but he died. <laughs> RIP to him. Chris, you should have kept that thunder arm, lightning arm he had. God, do you guys remember that campaign? <laughs> oh, man. That was a rough one. Excuse me, everybody. I need some backup. I see you. 200 to the point. So, huh? Mother Miranda was that one old lady with the freaking staff the whole entire time. So, I guess Heisenberg was right. She was just leading us to just to kill all of our children. Man, 
I'm trying I'm trying to save all my um Trying to save all my bullets, uh, all the assault rifle bullets until we get to a biggie. You know what I mean? Blame me for that one. My mom saw this shit. She thinks she can get it going to die. Hey, quit the idle chatter, my man. Reach the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Hurry up. Come on, baby. This should be the last one.
Yeah, boy. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold of the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Okay. That looks like somebody that I don't want to meet. Guarding the Mega Mycete, huh? Chris, take all of these hits. Batteries. <laughs> Jesus, Ethan would be dead by now. This was either he would be toast right now. Keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. This is all important information that I would like to know the reason of this freaking story, my man. I found it. It's the Mega My Seed. Alpha the squad. I've located the Mega My Seed. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. 
And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. I 1000% agree. Trying to make Chris Redfield the bad guy. This must be Miranda's lab. I can't believe I didn't explain how she got so damn tall. I guess if that's Miranda. Another thing that's actually, <laughs> I'm probably going to get to this uh, in my TLDR review, but I don't, me is not a good person, right? Was in Resident Evil 7, was it revealed that she was actually carrying Evelyn? Like she worked for the corporation that was doing experimenting, uh, experiments on her? Spencer, here. No way. Oh, man. Man, this is Spencer right, right here. Jesus. But that's why Umbrella, there's Umbrella symbols and crap all over here. Uh, that's a cool connection. I'm guessing that's Evelyn. Wait, isn't that Mia right there to the right? Evelyn in the middle? And that guy right there in the middle who isn't wearing a lab coat or whatever, wasn't that like Mia's partner? Or the bodyguard dude or whatever from RE7? Who died on the boat? Horrible third act. Hated it. I wonder has anyone told Evelyn that freaking Wesker killed uh, uh, Spencer. Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. 
Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. Okay, you keep me in suspense right here. What's going? What's 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 going on? What's going on, guys? What's going on? <laughs> Someone there. <laughs> Did I get here? God, it's freezing. This shit, my body. To save, save Rose. Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt, remember. Three years ago, the Baker House, you were murdered by Jack. You died there. Three years ago. That, that's, that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! What, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. 
<laughs> Rose. Mia. I... Daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I, I will save Rose. <sighs> Did they really just go anime with that? I can't believe they went anime with that. Wow. I don't know if I should roll my eyes or facepalm my freaking fat face right now. I'm just laughing. <laughs> just because you're screaming something that you want to do louder doesn't mean you're going to be able to do the thing. But anime pff, rolls out the window, dude. At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. At least they left some bullets here. is more important now than ever before. Tell me about it, Duke. Your journey nears its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? You don't <laughs> say. I'm buying everything. As always, a trustworthy fair exchange. Thank you for your purchase. Okay. This may be our last meeting. Be sure you have all you need. Oh, I'm buying everything, don't worry.
Ah, Amat Victoria Coram. I think that's everything. Yes, I can see why you'd be interested in that. Please be well. Thanks. Until next time, Duke. One last time. So I'm guessing all the villagers are dead in this village. Time of this. I gotta keep going. Ah, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva, is that you? to me now you will see once I kill you properly every get her now <sighs> let go I've spent a lifetime creating this moment and you try to take it away from me I will take what is due Desires will be fulfilled! No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Rose. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamyce. Now, please do not worry, the little girls. I assure you, I'll provide her with a So now you can die peacefully. Ah! Not letting you get away. Die. Oh, Jesus. There's nothing. You have my daughter. Here I come. Oh, please don't do that. I've had enough nightmares for one day. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure you're not? 
Come on, Ethan. You won't The hint. Your time is up. Now die. The Metamite Seat saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Wait, this freaking crazy bitch can fly now. Did some damage. Everyone dies. We're clearly not Mia and Eva. Or actually, no, that wasn't uh, Mia then. <laughs> Die. You first. Where'd she go? If she got close to me and said that, I would have said, I would say keep rain, bitch. Like the rock from, oh God, Jesus, from freaking Fast 8. That, that was a great moment. Keep waiting, bitch. <laughs> alarm anyone but god why they gotta give me sniper rifle bullets all right let's do this then shortcut here It's gonna work. I understand your feelings, Mr. Winters. True, I do. But this is the end. The victims, those four nations, they could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. But this is some anime level stuff. <laughs> I will 
see my hopes for good. I must. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Tell yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan.
Go. Go, take us up now. Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go! Not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? Down. Where is he? Chris, what have you done? He's gone. I tried. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain, you need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. And that, ladies and gents, was Resident Evil Village. Thank you all for watching this, and thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciate it. Um, before I get started and, and continue with my thoughts and feelings of overall thoughts and feelings of Resident Evil Village, ladies and gents, full full disclosure, I did receive this free copy of Resident Evil Village from Capcom themselves. So please take what I'm about to say about Resident Evil Village with a grain of salt, of course. And with all that good jazz out of the way, overall, ladies and gents, I think Resident Evil Village is a phenomenal game. I think it's easily the best Resident Evil game that we've gotten in recent history, not including the remakes. If we include the remakes, Resident Evil 2 remake and Resident Evil 3, I think Resident Evil 2 remake is by and far better than this game. Uh, I know a lot of you are thinking, but Resident Evil 3 and all this, like, I never played the original Resident Evil 3, so Resident Evil 3 Remake I thought was pretty damn great as well. Um, and when, and talk about Resident Evil 7, I thought Resident Evil, the first two thirds of Resident Evil 7 was pretty damn great, but when we got to that final fight with Jack, the final time you faced Jack in Resident Evil 7, and everything after that fight, I thought it was really bad, and the pacing was a, like a boar slodge fest for me, and it really brought the enjoyment of that game down quite a bit for me, but yeah, Resident Evil Village, ladies and gents, phenomenal game. Capcom managed to mix it between stuff that I love from pre other Resident Evil games and other horror games, like Castle Dimitris, very reminiscent of Resident Evil 1's Adventure Mansion, the world of Resident Evil Village, you exploring uh, around very reminiscent of Resident Evil 4 and the combat is kind of like Resident Evil 4 it's not as action-y like Resident Evil 5 and 6, even though I would defend Resident Evil 6 Leon's campaign to the day I die, but that's the different conversation for a different day um, but like I said, it's not overall action-y like Resident Evil 5 or 4 and 6, it's more in line with Revelations 1, 2 and Resident Evil 4, which I really do which I really do dig, um, and and the, and the other type of horror game that it takes inspiration of is uh, on is PT Silent Hill and Amnesia. When you get to that, and I keep blanking on the name. It's not Bertolini. I think there's a name at the, of the pasta I like to eat, which I should cut back on. It's the Angie Dollmaker house, uh, Donna the, the Dollmaker's house, where you have to hide, play hide and seek with that mutated baby thing that sounds like a 600 pound man walking around, but says dad, dad, like a two year old. That, that one was freaking scary, guys. That was freaking awesome. Like, I love that part of the game. That, that was freaking awesome. But, like all Resident Evil games, 
times the, they all start going, you know, uh, uh, not really over, yeah, I guess a little bit overstay the welcome just a little bit and start going downhill just a little bit. For me, it kind of started a little bit early on, but actually ramps back up a little bit uh, near the end of the game. Uh, Monroe's Reservoir, I really didn't like that part that much. I thought it was a little bit of a slodge. Um, it was a little boring to play that area, but it ramps back up when you get to Heisenberg's Factory, which I thought was a really cool place to go, but it never got back to the highs of uh, Castle Dimitris or exploring exploring the early parts of the village or even exploring the, the, the doll maker's house, which I freaking love those points, but it never reached the lows of the Monroe's, uh, Monroe's Reservoir. Um, in terms of characters, Ethan, he I used to hate Ethan in Resident Evil 7. I think he's actually a better character this time around. He's not little, a whiny little bitch anymore. Um, he's still not on the same level as Chris, Leon, Jill, or Claire, or even Shovel or Rebecca, but he's he's actually pretty, I would say he's fairly really okay to even borderline good, and he made that really cool badass ultimate sacrifice so him, uh, uh, him, uh, so his friends, Chris, uh, and his, the love of his life, Mia, even though I think she's still a, she's kind of sketchy in my personal opinion still, and, and his daughter, Rose, can survive and all that good jazz, which is pretty cool. Um, the story, I'm still a little confused of, like, mainly the Chris part, like, I still don't know what Chris has been up to between uh, Resident Evil 6 to 7, why he's working for Umbrella, and he used to work for the BSAA, uh, between his involvement between uh, seven and eight like I don't know what the hell he, he's been doing like I know I mean he still works for the BSAA and Resident Evil Vendetta the animated movie right which takes place before Resident Evil 6 no excuse me Resident Evil 7 because the animated movies the Resident Evil animated movies are canon so I, I don't know that's that stuff is all weird um the story does get a little like, I like the plot of you trying to figure out where your daughter is but in terms of um uh in terms of like what's happening how this is all going on how Rose fits to all of this and she she's Evelyn and you're you've been dead the whole entire time when Jack killed you in Resident Evil 7 I'm like when the hell did that happen I guess when Jack was like welcome to the family son and he freaking punches in the face and stomps on your head I guess he crushes your skull and that's when you die and Evelyn pumps you with mold and all that stuff I'm like okay like I guess a lot of you're like well of course he, he died from that I'm like did he because a lot of the Resident Evil characters died, like survive over the most intense circumstances granted Ethan was a military train like everyone else in this franchise but I, I don't know I didn't see that coming because I was wondering like how the hell can he freaking just, just glue his hand together by a freaking medical aid uh, alcohol or whatever which was really weird for me but yeah that part is a little messy but I do like the connection of Spencer um he was uh how Umbrella was involved because uh, throughout the game I'm like wait how is Umbrella involved none of this makes sense to me it's really cool that Spencer met Miranda way back in the day and those two were in cahoots from the beginning which was interesting interesting i'm i'm ever i'm really curious to see what they're gonna do with chris like is he are we gonna get dlc with chris him hunting down the bsaa members and uh, bsaa agents in europe like he said it's time for us to freaking kick ass over there which i can't wait for that i wonder if that's gonna be dlc or if that's going to be another another game and speaking of another game uh, what uh, what's Resident Evil 9 is going to be like what direction are they gonna go are they gonna go back to more traditional zombies or they're gonna go still more with the supernatural werewolf Maybe vampires like more supernatural stuff which I think that's a really great direction in my personal opinion with Resident Evil Village or excuse me with Resident Evil I thought that, 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 that was a great direction to go in and also who we're gonna play as like I would love to see Leon make a return we haven't seen him since Resident Evil 6 or Resident Evil Vendetta the animated movie I would love to see Jill make a return we haven't seen her since Resident Evil 5 even Shava uh, Rebecca Claire we haven't seen her since Revelations 2 like like there's so so much stuff uh, so many interesting character directions they could go in uh go in with Resident Evil 9 so I cannot wait for that so yeah ladies and gents overall Resident Evil 9 great game or a great amazing game I really enjoy my time with it even though the story aspects and how Rose and Ethan and and Mia which again it's kind of it's kind of weird because if I'm not mistaken ladies and gents in Resident Evil 7 Mia's not a good person right because she was a bodyguard working for the people who made made Evelyn right in Resident Evil 7 like who was doing experiments on of her on her because in the lab plan Chris in this game and we saw in Moran's lab there was a picture of Mia with people in lab coats right like with Evelyn so it's weird that I, I don't know it's weird but yeah like that part is a little messy to me so yeah overall Resident Evil 8 ladies and gents or Resident Evil Village amazing game 
So yeah, for my next gameplay walkthrough, ladies and gents, I want to touch on this for a quick second. I plan on doing a full gameplay walkthrough of Mass Effect 1 via the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So be expecting part one of that walkthrough uh, probably Thursday afternoon, this Thursday afternoon or Friday afternoon. Uh, one of those two days. Cannot wait for that because I've never played Mass Effect 1 or 2. I've only played Mass Effect 3 and Andromeda, the, the controversial Mass Effect game. So that ought to be exciting. And yeah, I think that's about it. Like I said, ladies and gents, thank you for watching this and thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough. Thank you all for the love and support of, on this walkthrough and on my other walkthroughs and on my channel as a whole. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Before I let you guys all go, if you guys can please leave a like on this video if you guys like what you saw. Please subscribe for more content. It helps about the channel a lot. Also, when you do subscribe, make sure you click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can start receiving notifications when I post videos or go live at the live stream next time. And when you do hit that notification bell, ladies and gents, make sure you set notifications to all so you receive all my channel post updates, all my video posts, and all my live stream posts as well. Um, please share my channel and my videos to all your friends, families, cats, and dogs, and whoever who nots. And you guys can all follow me on Twitter at Beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H. If you want to support me even further than just subscribing to my YouTube channel, leaving a like, sharing my channel, my videos to all your friends and families, please consider donating some of your extra monies you have lying around to my Patreon and or PayPal. That is patreon.com slash beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H, and or paypal.me slash beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H. You do not have to do either of those. That's 100% optional, but please note, ladies and gents, any and all donations are much appreciated. And with all that being said, ladies and gents, without further ado, my name is Malcolm, also known as Beta, and I will catch you guys all on my next walkthrough. Peace. little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels cold. I don't think it Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Today of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Oh, oh, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. <laughs>